Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, let's get into the read. The all around energy is the Page of Wands. This is quick moving, quick moving energy. It's a message that should favor your situation. So, let's go. Where you're at right now is the Eight of Swords which is restrictive energy, but it's your own restrictive energy because that's just a little puddle and you're, you can walk through it right through the swords. So whatever the situation is, it's mostly in your head. It's because you're not seeing something and you're feeling like you're tight. Like, like your hands are tied. Okay? Your challenge is a, is a six of swords. It's turning your back on something and moving away. Okay? So that's your challenge. In your distant past, you had the four of cups, which is you were, you missed something because you had your arms crossed, you were concentrating on the three empty cups, so you didn't see what was there. There was something there, but you didn't see it because you were disgruntled with your arms crossed. This is telling you to uncross your arms and, and look around. Okay? In the recent past, you had the Seven of Cups. This is the Illusions card. So, you may have thought you had many, many choices, but did you really? Did you build too many castles in the sky and believe things that just weren't true? Because there's only one cup there that has any kind of meaning. Everything else is illusion. This is spirit. Everything else is illusion. So, all that glitters is not gold. Your best possible outcome, you got the twin flame card. The lovers. And this isn't just the lovers. This is the twin flame card. Which means that your best possible outcome is your twin flame finding your twin flame if you haven't already in your immediate future you have the nine of swords this energy is all you there is nobody else feeling this way but you so whatever your outside influences are understand that you're in this energy alone nobody else nobody else is, is feeling this but you so, snap out of it, because it's not so bad. Factors affecting the situation, somebody walked away, the eight cups are empty, so somebody decided that it wasn't worth it, walked away from it, okay? Outside influences is the Page of Cups. This is somebody who's sending you a message of love that, that, that is, uh, is in love with you and would like to give it a shot. So, take what resonates and leave the rest behind because I don't pretend to know anybody's situation, so this is this is the way the cards came out. Hopes and fears. You got judgment. And this usually means judgment in your favor. So you're hoping that whatever this offer of love is is your twin flame. And judgment will be made for your final outcome. 
because your final outcome is the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. And that's got wish fulfillment written all over it. So, all of this here is in, this is in the past. And, and even, even the way that you're feeling restricted at the moment, that's all in your head. And so is this. This is all in your head. Because what you got waiting for you is this. All wonderful cards. All wish fulfillment. And your twin flame. Okay? That, would get, that was a great read, Libra. I would like that read. So get out of your own head. Pay attention to what spirit's offering you because there is somebody there for you and it's, it's possibly your twin flame. And it's your wish fulfillment. Let's pull some romance angels and see what they got to say. And then I'll pull a couple of hidden realms for advice. Libra, sun, moon, rising. Got free yourself. <laughs> kind of goes along with that uh, eight of swords. To free yourself and take back your energy. And you got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual expectations and type. I don't really like that card because I wouldn't go out with anybody I'm not attracted to. So, <laughs> then you got heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So, there is somebody. You have somebody in mind. And that person may feel the same way. So, you need to investigate it. And then you got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So that could be your twin flame. Maybe maybe you guys had an argument or you separated for a little while and that is your twin flame. That and that is your soulmate. Maybe that's why you're in the energy of, of worry and disappointment. And then you got honeymoon. Enjoy the bl the bliss of holiday time together. So free yourself from your worries. Free yourself from your own mind. And keep an open mind because the soulmate that you think might be your soulmate might not be your soulmate. It might be somebody else. And you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person. And possibly reconcile. So you can have that happy ending. And on the bottom it says, Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So there are two people here. You have one that is not your twin flame. And you have another that is your twin flame. It's up to you to decide because free will is what takes the reins. And if you go by strictly sexual attraction or looks or whatever the case may be, um, and not by the way that you feel about somebody or how close you are to somebody, you might be making a mistake. That's all I'm saying. Because your twin flame might not be the person that you expect it to be. Just because of the attraction. Okay. This is for Libra, 
Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, we got Sisters of the Seasons in reverse. Queen of the Light, upright. So one's a challenger and one's an ally. Let's see what they say. The Sisters of the Seasons, 49. Okay, this one as a challenger is the Sisters of the Season sends you to sends you a warning that you're trying to jump the gun and go from winter to summer without paying heed to spring or skip from summer to winter without allowing for the possibility of autumn. Moving too quickly, looking for shortcuts. And artificially trying to prolong a hoped-for result will not yield what you desire. There are no shortcuts. It's time to rethink your plans. All four sisters are nature's cherished daughters, and all are important. Be careful of the difficulties they force you to endure when you try to trick them away from each other. Better to let nature take her course. Her daughters will be very happy, and so will you, if you let them express themselves in order. Wow. That kind of goes along with the read. Make wise choices, Libra. Like I said, your twin may not be who you, who you think it is. It may be the person that loves you the most, and you're not seeing it. And then we have the Queen of the Light as an ally. Okay, the Queen of the Light is a beautiful ally and comes into your life to herald its success in all your ventures. She illuminates the most important steps on your path and reminds you of your own brilliance. You're intelligent and inspired, and all your needs will be met. Remember that you are an instrument of the divine shining through you in this world. You're on the correct path for your highest good. The Queen also brings you insight into how to manifest your reality in the most miraculous ways. She promises that you'll be, a, you'll be shown the right action and, and celebrates you as you stand brilliant, joyful, and enlightened in the present time. You've worked hard to come this far. You can be proud to stand tall in, in your conviction that in your heart of hearts, you know the truth of your situation. Rewards for your perseverance and willingness to learn are on the way. Gratitude and acceptance are key. Okay? So that was your read, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and share if you did. And I will see you guys next month. This is for the month of February. I hope you have a wonderful month. Bye-bye.